Hey guys, welcome to Mike Vision. It's Mike. Today I'm gonna start my video game review series. It's it's a new series I'm doing where I'm reviewing all of the video games that I have. So it's gonna be a bunch of videos, so you guys should like it. Um, today we're gonna start off with ATV Off-Road Fury for the PlayStation 2. Um, this game came out in February of 2001. Um, I have the greatest hits version as you can see here. Uh, I really like this game. I played this game a lot. I was addicted to it for quite some time. Um, me and my friends play it a lot. Uh, there's a lot of great things about this game, so let's dive right in. Alright, so right when you turn this game on, there's a big list of different like racing modes that you can choose from to like, race in this game. So, um, the first thing that it starts off with is a training mode. And the training mode, Your it's kind of weird because, I mean, you think racing game X is gas and squares break on PS2, obviously, right? But they, like, show you it in some weird training video slash do-it-yourself kind of thing. It's weird. But um, I guess it helps out people that aren't really with games. So that's the training mode. Um, the next mode that there is when you go down is the Maxis National mode, I believe. Yes. Um, the Maxis National, there's a bunch of Maxis National courses, and they're all like locked when you first start. You only have like three or four of them. I think you have four, or maybe five, I couldn't tell you. Probably like four. Um, so yeah, those courses, it's a, it's a regular course, but um, they're in like exotic locations like the forest, or like, like the Arctic tundra, or like, um, uh, I don't know, the sand dunes, there's just a bunch of crazy different ones. Um, but that's really fun for racing, there's a bunch of jumps and it's pretty cool. And the Maxis National Courses, those are the ones that you use in Pro Career Mode and you unlock different Maxis National Courses. So you just like keep racing up until you like are number one, I guess you would call it. I don't know, you don't really get anything for it. The next one is um, the Stadium Supercross, which is actual ATV stadiums, like big huge arenas just with like dirt and jumps and rhythm sections and a bunch of people like screaming and every time you do something good like a trick or something they all cheer which is cool because it's interactive and if you like go off a jump and land on another player then they boo you so it's really fun to play in that mode. The next mode on it is freestyle which is you're not on a track anymore you're just in this big open land and um, you have like a time limit and you just have to do as many tricks as you can and get a really big high score so yeah that's the point of it and um, but I had a lot of fun with this mode because I turned the time limit to unlimited and then I would just explore the area because the areas were crazy that they would give you it'd be like a crater park and like a big railroad station and like an air force and it, it, it was just awesome to look around because you would find like all these buildings and you try to get to like the highest point possible and then just jump off of them. So it was really cool. I liked that a lot. Um, me and my friend Dan would play this game that we invented. It, it was tag, except it was ATV version. So one person would drive into another person and when that person got hit, that made them it, like it and tag. So then you would race all around trying to hit the other person. It was a lot of fun. We played it for hours and hours and we still play it today, having a lot of fun. Yeah. The next mode is cross country and duo, which is um, you race on the same land that you use for um, freestyle. So it's it's not like on a track, but it's it's big like gates, like orange gates that you go through, and you have to go through those, and that's like a lap. But the way they do it's cool because when you're usually on like a stadium track or a Maxis National track or something, if you go off the track, then they reset you, so you can't cheat or something, which is normal I guess and it makes sense but during the um, cross country and duo races you can take your own route you don't need to do anything except go through the gates so you can find your own way and it's very you know, you can use your imagination and stuff but generally just going straight around and like the track that you could like kind of see is the best way uh, the next mode is just pro career which just speaks for itself that's how you unlock tracks and more ATVs um, after that, it's options where you can tweak all your stuff, and that's it on the menu screen. That's all there is in this game. A cool thing is when you select your character, you can um, decide like all their features and stuff, which is really cool. Like you can decide if it's male or female. You can um, 
pick what kind of gear they have. I don't know what it's called, what um, M ATV people wear when they race, like the shirt and the pants. If, if it has a specific name, you can just comment below what it is and thank you, I guess. But yeah, just all that stuff. You can, um, you can, you pick what kind of gear you want. They have all these different brands that I guess are big ATV, like in real life, good brands. So they have all those and you have your specific colors that you can choose from. And then you can choose your ATV and they have a bunch of companies like Honda. It says Honda on the back there. I don't know if you guys can see it. Um, yes, yeah, so that's really cool. So overall, I really love this game. I still play it today with my friends because we're so addicted to it. But um, if you can find this game at like a store for like a couple bucks, maybe like five bucks, I would buy it because it's just so much fun to play with friends. And by yourself even, it's fun just to explore and do the pro career. That's all fun stuff. Um, and it has a great, it, great music in this game. Um, bands like Alice in Chains and Soundgarden. If you're fans of those, that's the music in this game. Even if you're not fans of those, it's great racing music, and this game's just really awesome. So, I highly recommend this, that you guys pick this one up. So, yeah, that's my review on ATV Off-Road Fury for the PlayStation 2. Uh, this is Mike Vision. I'm Mike, and I'll see you guys next time I make a video. See ya.